Here's a clue that crossword puzzle fans at this year's Tucson Festival of Books would surely get. Take a word that means to entertain, amuse, or captivate. Now, rearrange the letters to come up with the name of one of the world's most renowned crossword puzzle authors. So what is 31 known? Stumped? The original word is regale, R-E-G-A-L-E, and the new word is regal, as in Merle Regal, Tucson native and puzzle master extraordinaire. It's a fitting anagram because the trademark of Merle Regal's syndicated crossword puzzle is its entertainment value. Where did the octopus's cousin end up when he lost all his money? Squid Row is right. <laughs> I want to make sure that if, that if solvers are in the mood to laugh, they will. And so all the theme answers, the gags, whatever they are, um, should go off like little bombs throughout the puzzle. But it's more than just fun and games for Regal. Last year, he teamed up with the Alzheimer's Foundation of America to raise money for the caretakers of Alzheimer's patients. And the fundraiser? A crossword puzzle contest, of course. A thinking person's contest to benefit people who can't think so well seemed like a natural idea. It was fitting, too, because Regal says activities like solving crossword puzzles are good for your brain. And the more that you actually crank your brain, the more that you, it's like working it out. It uh, doesn't mean that you won't absolutely get Alzheimer's, but it does give your brain a lot of backup so that when, if Alzheimer's sets in, it'll set in much later. Stephanie and Jim Keenan are big fans of Regal. Thursday, his puzzle comes out in the Arizona Star, so that's my favorite day of the week. And they've seen the power of puzzles firsthand. It has improved his spelling because I'm a retired school teacher and before I was the speller, and now I have to ask him how to spell words. With dedicated fans like these, it's no wonder Regal's first fundraising contest for the Alzheimer's Foundation of America was a success. I'm not allowed to say how much money they made, but they did great. Uh, it was very successful, that's why we're doing another one. Regal will regale solvers with his next contest this fall. For Arizona Cat's Eye, I'm Anissa Tanweer.